welcome back to Brandy Circle. Today on Brandy Circle, we're going to be doing something different. Um, I'm starting a new section of Brandy Circle today. It's going to be called What Will Nade Do? What Will Nade Do is this mentorship program I used to run as a teenager. Well, I'm still a teenager. Like when I was in high school, right? It's about mentoring teenagers or advising teenagers based on their individual characteristics and traits. So I get their um, problems submitted to me, then I used to talk to them, try to, then I follow up, try to make sure they're fine and everything. Um, now I'm bringing What Would I they Do to my YouTube channel, which you all know, Brandy Circle, right? Um, so what we're going to be doing today is that I got a few questions from my friends. I want to say thank you to everyone who actually submitted their questions. Love you guys so much. Um, I'm going to be answering these questions on here. Like, okay, not everybody might agree with what I think, right? Not everybody might agree with me, but then I feel like I'm giving you answers that are more suitable for teenagers and, and yeah. So, um... Anonymous says, I had a thing with this person, we were almost dating before I left Nigeria, but now he's in Nigeria and I think he's cheating. He still messages me from time to time, but then I keep seeing this other girl on his Snapchat. He's always with this girl, and then whenever I ask, he doesn't give me straight replies. Okay. I feel like if you're willing to go into a long distance relationship, something like that, if you're if you want to be into a long long distance relationship you have to really trust your partner long distance relationships are not easy trust me like it takes a lot but then there's still some people in especially in this canada that live like in the same city and then they barely see each other so if you can if you can handle long distance relationship then you should do it but then the problem now is that you feel your partner is cheating on you hmm. Like, you should try asking the person, try asking him, okay, who is this girl and stuff? Okay, you did right, and then he wasn't giving you straight answers. Confront him. Actually, tell him how you feel. Okay, I don't like the fact that you're always with this girl. If this that is with this girl and they're always at the club getting down on each other, I think you need to you need to pack your things and leave. To be honest, though, what you never know if your partner is willing to give as much as you are in a long distance relationship. His body might be tingling him, something might be biting him, and then he just wants to explore, right? And he's like, okay, I still have this girl there. You can't be for me, Mumu. I'm just telling you, you cannot just be, you cannot just sit in this. In, like and you cannot sit in this Canada and be forming Mumu. You need to wisen up. You need to wisen up. <laughs> like Bonnie Lamo say, you're not a war clock. He can't be watching you. That kind of thing. But if you feel like you still want to go on. Talk to him about it, right? And then keep trying. Okay, my second question. Anonymous says, I was dating this girl, but she broke up with me. Then she starts dating this other person. Then she sees me with one of her friends and, start, and starts getting jealous. This is serious. And starts getting jealous. One time, the girl posted a, a snap saying, oh, my gym partner. And then, I, I posted a snap saying, oh, that's my queen, she's the best. The girl walked up to me one time and said, I think there's something between you both. I mean, why does she care? Oh my god, this one is serious. <laughs> okay, so if you don't understand, let me explain. Girl A and girl B were dating, and boy B were dating. A pass, something was tingling this girl A's body. She went to break up with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend now starts striking this other girl, which happens to be the ex-girlfriend's friend. First of all, girl could no now kill a day. But then, that's not even the issue here. The issue here is that she's now jealous because her ex-boyfriend and her friend are having a thing when she has her own boyfriend. That's why now, that's why, close what she <laughs> That kind of thing. So, why is she jealous? Okay, girls are very emotional, right? So once a girl has been with this other guy, she feels like, okay, okay, I, I, she probably still really likes him, but then I'm sure she doesn't like him. Like, why would she break up with you if she doesn't like you? I don't know why she's getting jealous, so honestly, I feel like she should just talk to her about it, like, as, as friends, and be like, oh, you have your own boyfriend, so live your life and I'll leave mine, that kind of thing. Don't let her ruin what you have with that, her friend, if you really feel like you like her friend. Don't let anything, like, ruin whatever you have, right? Yeah. 
But like, I, mean, I don't know why she's getting jealous, so ah, she left you. I don't understand. Okay. Okay, someone is asking. Oh, this relates to what I just finished reading actually. Um, as a girl, do you think it's better to have a girl or boy as a best friend? Like I said before I started, I'm going to give advice based on your individual personality and traits. Some girls tend to be more free around boys and others don't. Some some other girls just like don't aren't free around boys at all. So if you're the kind of girl like me personally, I talk to a lot of boys and then we where to just flow. I flow with boys and everything, though my best friend is a girl. But like if you feel like you're fair with boys, then sure you can have a boy as your best friend, but but then you you have to know where you draw that boundary. Okay, this is just friendship and then nothing more, right? That kind of thing. Okay, so it depends on you. I don't I don't think I can I can tell you if you should have a girl best friend or a boy best friend. It's your personal um it's your personal thing, right? You should know. Okay. Just so you people are asking, my glasses are actually recommended though. <laughs> I recommend it. Okay. So anonymous says, I have a boy as my best friend, but then I have a boyfriend. I'm more comfortable with my best friend, but because we have a lot of things in common, we mess around with each other, we throw shades at each other, we're super close. But my boyfriend is always messing up. But my but my boyfriend. We're not that we're not that comfortable with each other. I really, really, really like my boyfriend, but what should I do? Okay. So let me explain this one too. My girl has her babe. She has a boyfriend. But then a pass. She has a best friend that is a boy that she's more comfortable with, who she has probably known longer than she has known her boyfriend. She says she really, really likes her boyfriend, but She's, she feels more comfortable with her best friend. Okay. My girl, you have to draw a fine line between your boyfriendship and your best friendship. You're, I, you cannot be comparing your boyfriend to your best friend. Then you should have as well just boyfriended your best friend. To be honest, if you know that you you like you're more comfortable with your best friend, then you shouldn't have you should have you guys should have thought about going out or something. If you guys are, if you if you guys are that close like you say, because now your boyfriend is going to be like the third wheel, or your boyfriend is going to be like the side chick. If you're hanging out more with your best friend and stuff like that, you have to choose at this point. This is the point where you actually you actually have to choose. Do I want to be with my best friend or do I want to be with my boyfriend? Because to be honest, your boyfriend might not might not take things as well as you think he will, right? So you need to draw a fine line. That's that's what I have to say. I mean, yeah, you can have a best friend, but then as a girl, like I'm putting myself in your boyfriend's condition now. If my boyfriend had a girlfriend that had a best friend that he's closer to, I mean, I should be your best friend. That, but then I'm not saying like. You should stop being best friends with your best friend, that kind of thing. But then you need to give your boyfriend more attention, try to get to know him more. You guys can, can even be as comfortable as you are with your best friend. Okay, so next question. Okay, um, Anonymous says, Oh my god, I can see this person, you know what this person thinks about me is food. What do you do when you're hungry and you don't know what to eat? I certainly know who asked that question, <laughs> but you know, anonymous. <laughs> if you're hungry and you don't know what to eat, go and check the menu they have on Timmy's, or go to uh, go to find something to eat. Go to Spring Sushi. Go to Mandarin. Go and ask them for their menu and get something to eat. Okay, that that was just a messing around question. <laughs> Okay, this next anonymous says, I'm 16 and I have low self-esteem because I feel I don't fit in. I have no true friends. I feel sad all the time. I'm probably the one who's messed up. Wow. Okay, we need to handle everything one by one. First of all, low self-esteem. Low self-esteem is something that a lot of teenagers are battling with. It's either they feel like, oh, this person is better than me, or that person is better than me. It's just some inferiority complex things. Like, you know, 
as long as somebody is not clothing you or somebody is not feeding you there is no need for you to be having low self-esteem relating to them or whatever I mean you need to build up your self-esteem build up your ego please there's nothing there's nothing that should cause you to be having low self-esteem in 2016 you'll be slacking you'll be at the back when everybody's moving forward for whatever to be honest and then you feel you don't fit in what exactly is the characteristic what what exactly are you judging your fitting in on is it oh they have 10,000 followers on Instagram or they have so many um, views on snapchat or what what is the thing you're engaging yourself with why, why, why exactly do you feel you don't fit in who, who says who fits in and who doesn't is it like like now there's this thing oh summer body summer body like me because I don't care about anybody's summer body honestly I need to be, you need to learn to be comfortable in your own skin don't let the internet tell you what is what is uh, um, proper what looks proper what looks right don't let the internet tell you that it's this 500,000 naira a week that we that you should be wearing because that's what everyone is doing don't let anything tell you whether you fit in or you don't fit in that kind of thing and then you have no true friends what what exactly do you mean by true friends do you have friends or you don't have friends okay if you don't if you do have friends and you feel that they are not um they're not they're not what you want them to be they probably just take advantage of you or use you then my girl I'm telling you drop them drop them you cannot be suffering yourself for anybody drop them and then another thing is that you cannot you cannot expect too much from anybody nobody nobody is going to give their their world to you like you expect expectations ruins friendship like don't expect anything from anybody because nobody is worth expecting anything from you need to be independent you need to be independent and rely on your family rely on your family and then let friendships take their natural cause my dear let friendships take their natural cause don't stress yourself ah, don't so there's nothing that will even cause me to be having low self-esteem in this in this in this in this year nothing you need to carry yourself up build yourself up i personally i'm personally going to look into your case because this is something that i know a lot of people are battling with i'll hit you up behind the camera not now i'll hit you up later we're gonna talk about it i'm gonna follow you up i'm gonna try to help you because like i know this is something that is really touching and really serious so we have come to the end of what will nade do for today you guys should submit your questions i'm willing to help you know me brandy nade i'm always willing to help and tell me what you want to see on my channel tell me everything oh my god i'm willing to help everyone i love you guys so much for always coming back back to watch my channel thank you so much for all the people that supported me to bring out this world when i do video thank you so much i love you guys so much like i don't even know how much to 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 to, to, to i don't know what to say like i just want to say thank you thank you thank you everyone i want to say thank you to my family i want to say thank you to my friends i love you guys so much bye see you